Good day, tourists. I am Megan Klein El Hidalgo, your tour guide for this day. And right beside me is our bus driver, Coach Alex. Welcome to Baguio City. Before we start our tour, please make sure to throw your trash in the proper trash bin. Second, always check and secure your valuables and do not leave anything unattended to avoid unnecessary loss. In my list, there are 20 participants. So, will I please make a head count? 5, 10, 15, 20. Thank you very much. Remember that our bus number is MK26. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask me. Now, I'd also like to inform you about brief safety precautions. Let me remind you that the temperature later on will decrease as nighttime approaches. So, I suggest you to wear your jacket when it gets cold later on. Tam Awan Village, one of the most visited attractions here in Baguio City, Benguet. Tam Awan is what they describe as Garden in the Sky, a nice place to visit for garden, art, and culture. Known with a lot of gallery spaces, small restaurant, and variety of huts that you can occupy. This place has been one of the many destinations for field trips and occasional tourists in the area. To be able to view the area, you have to trek upwards. At the peak are two viewing decks where you can see the West Philippine Sea as clear as day. It is the reason why it's called Tam Awan. It came from the local word meaning a place where one can view things from far away. Tanawan in Tagalog. The hill that the Tam Awan village is on has an endless amount of paths that go up the side of the mountain. The paths throughout the mountains are covered in beautiful plants and is the perfect combination of village or nature. The Tam Awan village was created with the purpose of showcasing the Igorot lifestyle and art. All around the village are different buildings that are filled with many different kinds of artwork made by the locals. Inside the buildings, you will have to remove your shoes to see them. Here, you will find different artwork from pastels to oil paintings and many dream cultures, even one that's 7 feet tall. Fun fact! Did you know that the Philippine summer capital has been hailed as a creative city by UNESCO for its distinguished crafts and folk art? Baguio is home to several handicraft, woven art, and indigenous wood carving, among others. To answer your question, the interesting things that you can do here is they will teach you how to wear the igorot bahag, which is the traditional form of clothing worn by the locals. These typically are red cloth that is very long, that is wrapped specifically around your body to keep you covered. You can also learn the basics of different art styles including pastel painting, watercolor painting, wood carving, bamboo crafts, dream catcher, making, and portraits. This is a great place for you to get your hands dirty and learn some new skills. You can also have lunch and coffee. The Tam Awan Cafe is also right in the middle of the village and they use many locally sourced food. You can enjoy native chicken, salads, vegetables, breakfast food, cheese stuffed peppers, and other favorite Filipino meals along with coffee or tea. Aside from the usual tours, galleries, classes, and cafe, you can also watch cultural shows like Mountain Province, Kalinga, Benguet Dances, and can also camp in the area. That's it for today. Thank you for your attention, everyone. We wish you a pleasant and memorable vacation here in Baguio City.